Good morning, Byram Schools. Welcome to the Byram News Network. My name is Emily. And I'm Charlotte. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, 2016. It is an A-Day. Rampage, your next meeting is today after school. It will take place in Mr. Hamer's homeroom until 4.30. Attention all young ladies who turned in a cheerleading form. We are having our first meeting today, Wednesday, November 30th. The meeting will be held in Mrs. Smith's room 105 after the third bus run dismisses. The meeting will give out the schedule and discuss what is involved in being a Byram Rams cheerleader. Please have a ride by 4.30. There will be a safety patrol meeting on Tuesday, December 6th for all members in room 117. Remember to have a ride ready to pick you up at 4.15. If you are unable to attend, please contact Ms. Hurling as soon as possible. Thank you. Today's band lessons are 5th and 6th grade percussion 3 and 4, French horns and tubas period 7 and 8. Tomorrow's lessons are advanced alto saxophones period 3 and 4, 5th grade alto saxophones period 7 and 8, and baritone and trombones periods 13 and 14. Attention student council members. Due to the change in the high school schedule, our next meeting date has been changed to Thursday, December 1st at 8.10 a.m. in room 107. You will also have a meeting after school on December 9th to decorate for the holiday dance. Please have a ride home at 4.45. Attention 7th and 8th graders, come enter a winter wonderland. The holiday dance will be Friday, December 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be sold during lunches Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. The cost is $5. You must have a signed permission slip in order to buy a ticket. Permission slips will be handed out in homerooms on Monday, December 5th. Are you in need of some school supplies? No worries. The school store will be open during lunches Mondays to Thursdays. Come check it out. Trauma Club, your next rehearsal is tomorrow after school. Cast members for Bon Voyage, singing and blocking are needed. Extra contracts and December schedules are available on the Drama Call Board in the All Purpose Room. Make sure you bring homework and something to read in case you are waiting for the other group to finish. Fifth grade Sikh students, you meet today periods 15 and 16. Now let's go to the weather with Andrew. Today we'll have a high of 55 and a low of 47 with 100% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow will be a high of 50 and a low of 32 with 10% chance of precipitation throughout the day. Come back to the studio. Two weekends ago, the STEM Robotics Club went to a competition at Sparta. Here's Alex, Alexia, Shirley, Juliana, and Jason with the story. What is the STEM Robotics Club? Okay. STEM is a new club that was just formed this year. The beginning of the year we're focusing on robotics and toward the end of the year we will participate in solar sprints. What is the FLL? FLL is the first Lego League where students go and compete against other schools in the area. Last Saturday our team went and competed against 12 other teams. They came in second on the field event and overall they did a very very good job. We were lucky to have a lot of volunteers come this year to help us. Former students from Lenape came down to help with our club. We had a former Byram student come down. He's also a graduate from Stevens Engineering School in Hoboken and he volunteered his time as well. We did a great job. Um, what was your favorite part of the FLL season? watching the team come together as a team, seeing the excitement in everybody's eyes, especially the time they asked me if they can stay until 7 o'clock and continue working, the fact that they never wanted to go home, just their enthusiasm was wonderful to see. What is the STEM Robotics Club? Um, it's, of course, a robotics club. We built a Lego robot, and then we had to do a project to go along with it. Was it fun? Uh, yeah, I had a pretty good time with all the other guys. How did you do in the tournament? Uh, we know we came second for the robot. We don't know how we did for the project and stuff, though. What is the LEGO Robotics Club? It's a club where we make a LEGO robot. The LEGO robot, we have to program, and then we have to put a project along with it. Was it fun? It was very fun. I had to do stuff with all my peers. How did you do in the tournament? I think we did pretty good. Just the project and core values we messed up, I think. What is the STEM Robotics Club? It's a club where we make robots out of Legos and bring them to the first Lego League competition. 
to compete and uh, use the programs we make to do certain challenges with them. And we also have a project that we have to make. So we made a poster um, about saving salamanders on Waterloo Road. Was it fun? Yeah, I thought it was fun. How do you think you did in the tournament? I think we did all right. Um, yeah. All right. What is the STEM Robotics Club? It's like a club where we build robots out of Legos and have them compete against other teams' Lego robots. Was it fun? Yes. How did you think you did in the tournament? I think we did pretty well. Thank you. What is the STEM Robotics Club? Um, the STEM Robotics is a club where you can build like Lego robotics and design them and program them to do certain like courses. Was it fun? Yes. And how did you think you did in the tournament? Um, very good. What is the STEM Robotics Club? Well, STEM Robotics, it's, well, you kind of build robots, and it's really fun, and I thought that they were going to fight this year, but they don't, and that's high school. <laughs> so instead, you program the robots to do a whole bunch of cool things, and you get points for them, and you get beat by eight-year-olds. Um, was it fun? Yes, it was lots of fun, and we spent all Saturday in a gym. How did you do in the tournament? We did good. We got second place in the tournament, but we didn't go on to the next one because we lost to eight-year-olds. Finally today, here's Brianna, Avery, Rebecca with another edition of Guess That Teacher. Hello, Barman. Welcome back to Guess That Teacher. Did you guess last week's teacher? Drum roll, please. It was, it was Mr. Mr. Hamer. This week's teacher taught at Byron for 16 years. They went to E-Town College. Their favorite thing outside of school is water skiing. Who do you think it is? Answer your answer in the link below. Don't forget to put your name. Yes, right, we'll put your name in a raffle to win a prize. Good, Good luck. luck. No. Okay, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. What is your favorite hobby outside of school? I would say my favorite hobby outside of school is watching sports, specifically the Devils. Favorite sport to watch? My favorite sport to watch <laughs> is the Devils. Hockey. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Ooh. Favorite movie is probably Hitch with Will Smith. It's a romantic comedy. It's very good. Okay. What's your favorite celebrity? Will Smith is my favorite <laughs> celebrity. Um, where did you go to school when you I, were younger? When I was younger, well, I went to Roxbury High School, and then I went to the College of New Jersey. Go Lions. Um, what town did you grow up in? I grew up in Roxbury. I keep stealing <laughs> your questions. Sorry. Um, what's your favorite game slash app? Ooh. Favorite game is probably NHL 16, because I haven't gotten the new one yet. Today's quote of the day is an old African proverb. It says, if something was going to chop off your head only knocked off your cap, you should be grateful. In other words, things could always be worse, and it's useful to stop and think about what's right and good in your world. Things like the roof over your head, the clothes on your back, and the privilege of getting an education. Make, Make it a great, great last day of November, November Byron. <laughs>